Yo boys, it's Rob. Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit like LMGK and do the shock wave effect and just also some editing skills that you might not know and it will make your highlight videos look really good. So what we're going to do first boys is if you add your cinematics, so you can use literally any, uh, add two video tracks and two audio tracks. Once you've got your uh, cinematics, what you can do is you can uh, get audio. So I'm just going to be using Lemonade. So you drag that up here. So you're gonna crop it. To, you're gonna crop it to where you want it. So we're gonna find where the All this money. So it's around here. So we don't want the cinematics to be too long, because no one really likes that. No one really likes a uh, long intro. So. What we can do is we shorten that and then we can bring it to where the beat starts. So it's like this. And then when the next beat starts. Or if you don't like it like that, you can just bring it down. Make you Money, I'll make you laugh. So much money, I'll make you laugh. Hey, the day. And you can just crop it there. The day, hey, and you can't miss what you're gonna ride. Hey, hey, I'm the juice. Coding got me tripping. What you can do is you can mark the two beats. So, uh, that, that would just be the beats you get the kills on. So, going into the text. What we can do is, we, if we go to media generators, uh, we grab legacy text. And then I'll, I'll leave the link for the Akira Expanded in the description. So you just want to say highlights and then hashtag 28 or something like that. And then we make this 26. So it'll look like this. And obviously we make it shorter here. I have so much money, I'll make you. And obviously that looks a bit basic, so we can like bring it in a little bit. This one you want to bring in quite a bit, so it doesn't just fade away straight away. So uh, now we're going to go to transitions, get a barn door. So um, this can be for the first one, and then we drag it in. Let's see, we don't want it to. So you can just adjust this however you want it. So much money, I'll make you laugh, hey. And then for this one. You just want the, the normal default one. And again, we bring this in. And then I've actually got um, a shake that you can copy the settings for. Just for uh, text shake. Here. So if you want to pause the video and copy this, you can. It's just for basically. You don't really want, you know, just boring still. Hey, hey, hey. We can bring it this way a little bit. Hey, hey. And um I have so much money, I'll make you laugh, hey. Obviously. Hey, you know. hey, hey, hey. And then uh obviously I should have done this at the start. I'm gonna wanna save this. Uh test. And then, um, yeah, so you're ready to bring in your clips. So now that I've got my two clips, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to line this up just with this. And um, right here, as soon as the text fades, I'm going to want to split it. And then what, what I do is I add a screen pump to it. If I find the video, I'll link it in the description. And then you just leave that as it is. And then what you want to get... Oh, what you're going to want to do here is if you crop this so it's short enough to fit on the kill here. 
so like this. And you're also going to want to disable resample on it. So until that's lined up, you just keep moving it. And as soon as you get the kill, when the when the numbers are kind of small, um, I'm just going to cut out this audio because it's quite loud. So then we move this to the right. We've done a screen pump. What we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to split it like that. Then we're going to add uh, the screen pump B. So the A always goes first. So so then we're going to add velocity, so we add it and then we mark the point, go back 4 frames, and go forward 5. From here we split the clip. Is we're going to add a whoosh sound so we could do bass whoosh so it's here and we drag it below the clip and then we reverse it so and then where that little line goes right to the top that's where it's on the beat so it's just like a whoosh sound which is really good the second part i'm going to copy it i'm going to paste it up here let me just get rid of the audio. Again, keep saving as you go. Leave the link in the description to the shockwave effect. So we're going to delete this. And then we're going to add velocity to it. Put it to 300. And then see where these little marks are. We just make it one. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to screen this. So we're going to go here, composite mode, screen. Just like this. And what we're going to want to do now is we're going to add BCC LED. So you're going to need BCC plugins for this. Might take a while. So it's called BCC LED. Right here. We're going to add this. Just like that. If you put color corrector, uh, you just put the default one, and then you put the saturation to around 0 0.3, 0.4, like in the in the middle, and then um, basically you copy the clip up here, like this clip, and then copy it up there, so just like that, and then uh, you put the uh, you copy the saturation and put it on the bottom, so you just drag the default one. I've already done it, so. I don't know why there's two on there. I mean, it, it, I, don't, I, I don't think it matters. But, um. And then you animate the top one. You click on here. Just go to the start. Mask it. And then you literally just do this. Create a circle. Make sure it's like in width of each one. Then you go about three frames forward. And you adjust the circle. Make it up, right, down, left, and you go three more, or you go four, that'd probably be better. Four frames, and then you adjust it. And you go down, you to the left, and then another four frames. Just pull this all the way up, pull this all the way down, and you just adjust these. Again, you can spend more time on this. But obviously, for the reason of this video, I'm gonna try to do it as fast as possible. So you can go right, so left a bit more. And one, two, three, four. You can do that. Do that. 
one, two, three, four, four here, and you can just pull it all the way. Then you have something that looks like this. Obviously, it'll be better once you are. If I, if I play Pro Bowl Frame, it's like that. It looks really good. So, from this point, what you can do is you can drag your other clip in. Make sure it's to the right amount. And then you can just drag it in again. Make sure it's not overlapping. And then. Yeah, so when the marker is on the kill, just like that, when it, yeah, just like that. When your character goes blue and you can see, just about see the name, uh, you pull it and then you can add. And with this bit, you can just add your own shake, it's up to you. Um, I'll try to leave some shake settings in the description, so I can't really find them right now. But um, yeah, so wh where this goes, uh, what you can do is you can go here. Uh, you can go top right, uh, again I'll leave the link to the video of these transitions and you copy these and you pull them all the way to the right and that, that was for A, so now we're going to do the B B top right but when it's fast which is really good so what we're going to do now is the text so it was the text I previously showed in the in the preview bit. So first off, we're gonna add the uh, velocity four frames back, five or six frames. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you prefer. Then we split it. And then coding got me tripping. It says coding got me tripping. So then what we can do. Is if we add the uh, legacy text and then then again boys I'll leave a, uh, a link to the text that I use so what I'm going to use I'm going to use ancient I'm going to use do coding. Coding, coding, coding. so it starts about here so what we're going to do is we're going to overlap it a little bit and then coding, And then what we're going to do boys, is we're going to add a, a drop shadow. So I'll leave the, so it's just like that. So you can copy these down. This is just my sentence for the text preset, the shadow. So, so wait for Where it says got, what we're going to do is we're going to add another one. We're going to use got's. You can literally use any. I'm just trying to think of something that won't look too basic, but isn't exactly the same. Then again, it's up to you whichever one you want to use. So I think for the purpose, I'm just going to use the same text, but obviously you can, you guys can change it. And you take the ball off. So now it'll be like. Coding got. And then what you can do for this. If you don't want to fade it, you can just go transitions, the fly in default. And it'll just be like. It'll look a lot better. And again, we'll add the uh, text preset to this. Delete that part. And then again, we just add another default text. We could actually just use this text, it's completely up to you. So we're going to use me. And then. And then I'm just, again I'm just gonna add the drop shadow on it. It makes everything stand out. 
And then what I've been doing recently is I've been adding keyframes. So right here, that's where it would be there. So that's where it's going to start. So it, you could make it, uh, this one, you can make it smaller. And if you go a couple of frames to the right, so like three, four frames. Then we restore. So it'll look like this. So it's just a better look. And then obviously, uh, let's split it there. And then we can just add a keyframe here. We could probably just rotate it a bit. And then right at the end, or near the end, we can just uh, zoom it all the way. And we can add a fade. So we add that right to the end. So we just look a bit like this, so it comes out of you, rotates, and goes away. And then we're going to add one more just for the tripping. But obviously it's up to you guys, it depends on what song you're using, whatever like that. Uh, just tripping like that. Uh, it'll probably be a good idea to maybe just um, make the text smaller. A little bit smaller. Like and then with this one, we can also make it smaller. Again, this one. So we have to do the first keyframe. First keyframe is there. Make it smaller like that. Then it looks a bit basic, so we can literally just fade this. And this is where it stops. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to add. Uh, it's going to split it here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dissolve shape. Uh, I'm going to find it. We just add this one. It just makes it shake, so it just gives it a bit of movement. And then we can fade this out. Or we can, uh, so where it's about to come out, we could add a key from there, add a key from there. So this one would be where it, um, it comes out a bit, so it gets a bit bigger. So we'll just say, uh, so yeah, it's around there. Makes it a bit bigger, and then this one just goes this one, put it all the way out like that, and we add a bit of a fade. So it's just like that. Again, guys, it's up to you. You can literally do whatever you need here. Um, I'm just going to add uh, a dissolve shake, shake for vid. I'm just going to add this here. A bit of movement. Obviously, we can change this just like this. But you you have to do the velocity first, otherwise it will pull out like that. But if you, if you can do it, it's just a bit, it gives it a bit of movement again. And uh, with this, we're gonna go to drop shadow. Add the text preset. <laughs> And then, um, what you can do here is to give it a bit of movement, like just with again with the positioning. Uh, you get the kill. You'd probably want it to, you know, zoom in a little bit. Completely up to you again. Uh, so we restore this. Go a 
couple Okay, that's just gonna stay still, so we're gonna add another keyframe. We're gonna restore it. But obviously, you'd wanna do it, you know, I might spread it a lot more so it doesn't look as bad. So you can just bring these up here. We'll get rid of the black lines, this is just temporary for now. Uh, this is with this one but yeah you can just add this and obviously if you would like you could just rotate this so it's gonna be one of the last steps we do so um just here uh what we can do is we can add vegas black and white uh, we can make this around. If we just keyframe it here, and we add the keyframe, this is how this, uh, the most it's going to go to. So, this is there. Uh, like It'll get darker. And then with this bit, obviously it's not going to have it on, so you can just uh, you can copy this. Add black and white to this. None. Like that. So then um, we're going to add uh, Vignette. We're going to add that. And what we're going to do is we're going to key from the feather so it focuses more on the text. So we can key from that zero. Eventually bring that up to you could just bring it up to literally ten if you want to. Completely up to you. And then obviously we're gonna add a bass wash. I'll put that in the description as well. Uh, we're gonna reverse it. Or actually, uh, what you can just do is you can, I should have known this, you can just literally copy it like that. Paste. And when the little thing comes up. And you, obviously you can you can just make this look a lot better. I'm just showing you how to adjust the keyframes in a better way. But um, yeah boys, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, then just leave them below. And uh, let me know if I should make a part two. Thank you for watching.